When severe weather strikes here in the United States, it poses an ever-increasing threat to communities as it threatens both life and property. That's right, and that's why there's a new federal initiative to help build resiliency in the face of increasing vulnerability to extreme weather events. And this would not be possible without the improved collaboration and communication amongst all three sectors of the weather and climate enterprise. This new initiative, called Weather Ready Nation, first began in 2011. It's intended to focus on all kinds of severe weather events, such as tornado outbreaks, intense heat waves, flooding, active hurricane seasons, and even solar storms that threaten electrical and communication systems. The Weather Ready Nation initiative, I think, is a great idea uh, because it's really the potential to really put together in a systems-type approach uh, how do you keep people safe. In recent years, the United States has experienced more disasters totaling a billion dollars in damage and more than ever before. And while this initiative is based in the public sector, it relies on the help of both the private and academic sectors to educate and inform the public to prepare for these types of events. Each sector of the weather and climate enterprise has unique specialties that can contribute to the Weather Ready Nation initiative. For example, one of the main goals of the Weather Ready Nation initiative is to improve the precision of weather and water forecasts. The academic sector is key to achieving this goal. The academic sector provides the research necessary to help improve warnings that will increase lead time so that communities have more time to prepare for impending disasters. Another goal of the Weather Ready Nation is to work with weather enterprise partners and the emergency management community to enhance safety and economic output for the effective management of environmental resources. This is done through the public sector, which is responsible for the implementation of those warnings. The public sector is also involved with the implementation of dual polarization radar technology. This technology is then used by the private sector, which is responsible for the communication of forecasts and risks associated with those forecasts to the public through various media outlets. So all of those components need to be put together to actually, I believe, achieve the goal of a weather-ready nation. Decrease in fatalities and injuries, decrease in loss of property in the face of extreme weather. The next step for Weather Ready Nation is the summer community meeting of the American Meteorological Society being held right here at Penn State in August. That's right. It'll be taking place during the week of August 11th, and this year's theme is weather communication and the improvement of forecasts. And that meeting is going to bring together some of the best and brightest minds in the weather enterprise and look for solutions to help improve those forecasts and get better communication as we build resiliency to extreme weather events. That sounds good, but for now, if you'd like more information on the Weather Ready Nation initiative, check out www.nws.noaa.gov backslash weatherreadynation. For Up in the Air, I'm Christy Ruel. I'm Brad Gay. And I'm Jillian Bohenick.